Alright, welcome to my next uh, video in my series of Minecraft tutorials. And the last one we covered portal blocks. Uh, this time I'm going to talk about something a little bit different, another new command. Um, I know I've got another Stargate here in front of me. We're not going to be working on portals this time, although if you want to turn this into a portal, you know how. Um, I mentioned last time, you know, what if you want to make uh, a couple of Stargates and you've got portals between them? Um, so let's imagine this thing is really cool looking and I don't want to have to build another one but I want to have another identical Stargate somewhere else. Um, you, know, you could go make another one. This one's pretty simple. Imagine it's more, more complicated than this and this is more worthwhile. But uh, the, the easiest way to do it of course you would think would be to, to go build a second one. But there is in fact a mechanism built in to handle that for you. Uh, there's copy and paste commands and these are like BLB and BHB. They they work by opposite corners. So we do want to go ahead and oops, there's that double jump I was telling you about before. Um, you do want to get uh, bricks that encompass the entire structure. That's my top corner there. And uh, we'll call this one my bottom corner. Uh, you can you can uh, tighten that up a little bit if you need to for your for your version. So the way this works, we have our, our two endpoints, the last brick I placed up there, and then the one following it there. Those are the last two ones I placed. Uh, we'll do slash copy, and it'll take a moment. Uh, it might take longer if your structure's larger, but you see in the chat it says your, your copy is completed. And so then we're going to come over here, and we're going to put down a brick, and we just place one brick, and then we do paste, and it materializes right there. Um, in this case, the uh, the origin point is the l is the last brick you placed in this one. So the second end point, if I had placed that brick last, uh, it would have started building from that brick. But since I placed this one last, it started building from that one at this point. Now it said 900 and uh, or 576 blocks rather loaded. Now obviously this thing is not made up of 576 blocks, but uh, from that brick all the way up to that one in this whole 3D space, if every block were filled, there'd be 576 of them. And they are all fill filled, but some of them have air. So it does in fact copy air. Uh, I, I can demonstrate that very quickly. If, if I come over here and place a brick there, and then I do paste, um, whoop. well you see here it's, uh, it's done nothing. That's another interesting, they're oriented the same, I don't know why I expected that to work out quite right, so this is the kind of thing. you got to be careful about this. I've been playing this game for for so many hours, it's not even funny. Um, but if I come there and then I do a paste at, at this location, you'll get some uh, messy results. If you if you like your mountain, your mountain is all of a sudden going to be gone, and everything inside that area will replace it, including the open space. Um, so you do have to be careful with this command. Uh, that's why you want to get as uh, as close to your structure as you can as you as you do the copy. Not only because you don't want to have a lot of open space and you want to keep your copy as, as tight as possible, but also because uh, this can be uh, fairly server intensive. I mean, I know it's only working on a few blocks and computers are very quick, but for some reason they seem to struggle with this, partly because they have to send out the uh, the block updates to everyone that's on the on the server at the time. So keep that in mind that you're updating several hundred, even for small things. For larger things like if you want to copy a skyscraper or or something large, a castle, that that's thousands and thousands of bricks. Even if you've only, you know, put a couple of bricks down, it's it's copying all of the empty space in between as well. So it it can still be a huge time saver if you're if you're doing something repetitive like this, but you know again you do have you do have to be careful with it, uh, and that's pretty much all I'm going to cover in this video. Um, in in the next one I'll try to move on to some more advanced topics since I am I am running out of out of iCraft specific things I'll probably get on to uh, maybe some some more building techniques or. Uh, just some some really general uh, chit chat about about using the system and maybe even some some server side stuff. But we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna try to get all, all of these videos I just made posted up, 
and this will be the end of this particular series, so thanks for watching.